Hi, I'm Dwayne Long. I'm chairman of Longistics. We're very concerned about safety. So at Longistics, we have chosen to speed limit our trucks at 65 miles per hour. We do this because safety is number one at our company. Don't just take it from me that trucks should be governed at 65 miles per hour. Listen to the other voices at ATA also. But 16 states have truck speeds equal to or greater than 75 miles per hour. And four states even go beyond that to 80 miles per hour. The American Trucking Association says it's been warning of the dangers for years. Dave Oshecki is the group's executive vice president. Raising speed limits at the state level is a bad idea beyond 65 miles per hour. 65 versus 75 miles per hour operating speed, the stopping distance is significantly different. So uh, there's, it's a win-win-win if we in the industry uh, control the speed of our trucks and we get the help of our government. Larger pieces of the puzzle, lower hanging fruit that federal regulators and the industry and other advocacy groups and interest groups should be working on. Like speed, distracted and aggressive driving. Too fast for safety. Truckers are coming out against an 85 mile per hour speed limit on a highway that links San Antonio to Austin. Highway 130, a toll road that should be complete by November, posts the fastest speed limit in the entire country. The American Trucking Association says it's an obvious attempt to generate more profit from tolls and downright dangerous. They want the Texas Transportation Commission to reverse the decision, saying, quote, at the end of the day, excessive speed is the greatest threat to highway safety. The leading factor in crashes, that is the most common misbehavior causing both car and truck crashes, is vehicle speed. Yet our regulatory and enforcement apparatus largely turns a blind eye. In 2006, about eight years ago, ATA and another safety group petitioned FMCSA and NHTSA to issue a rule electronically limiting the top speed of large trucks. Neither FMCSA nor NHTSA has issued a proposed rule requiring speed limiters. SBT 22 News at 11. The nation's largest trucking industry group wants the government to get moving on a rule requiring speed limiters on big rigs. The American Trucking Association has proposed the limiters in 2006, but the rule has been stuck in the government bureaucracy. The group says capping heavy truck speeds at 65 miles per hour would make the roads safer. Transportation Department documents show the rule has been stalled in the secretary's office. A trucking group wants the government to put a speed limit cap on big rigs. The American Trucking Association proposed this in 2006, but the rule's been stuck in limbo. The group says capping heavy truck speeds at 65 miles per hour would make roads safer. But 14 states have speed limits of 75 or above. Semis could be slowing down on the freeway. That's if the nation's largest trucking industry group gets its way. The American Trucking Association wants the government to require speed limiters on big rigs. Now, the caps have been on the table since 2006, but so far the government has not moved forward. The trucking Association says capping heavy truck speeds at 65 miles per hour would make the roads safer. Most semi-tires are not designed to go over 75 miles per hour, yet 14 states, including South Dakota, now have speed limits of 75 to 80 or above. Transportation Department documents show the rule has been stalled in the Secretary of Transportation's office since August.